Are you ready to be edutained? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Vibrant Living with your host, Dr. Ellison. Let's turn up the dial on your health, relationships, and personal growth. Right here on WAEC of 860 Atlanta's Inspirational Talk Radio. And now, without further ado, here's Dr. Ellison. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to another Vibrant Living Show with Dr. E. His guest and his girlfriend is with him. Let me clear that up. Girlfriend, wife is with me on this show. Girl, how you be? I've been doing great. All right. So <laughs> glad. I always have my girlfriend, and I have to say, wife, you all in this on in the station with us today. Mm-hmm. And you know, I've been accused of saying uh, of being told. Well, I have been told if you've been with her for thirty six years, don't you think it's about time? to put the ring on her finger. So I have to clarify and say wife, girlfriend, wife. Girlfriend is so good always. Have my girlfriend with me. Oh, I just can't wait to hear all all the great things that you all are going to talk about on health. Uh, I'm telling you, honey, we've got two dynamic people that are co-hosting with us today. Good friend of mine and his girlfriend, wife. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey, they just <laughs> tied that knot recently. Yes. And that is none other than good friend Todd and Jennifer Cheek of Todd's Health Zone. Mm-hmm. Together like they that. are helping people live healthier lives through their 21-day challenge and 90-day transformation programs. Todd has completed his first Book, yay! Okay. All right, <laughs> woo! We were waiting on that baby to come out of there. His first book entitled "No Wonder I'm Fat." Mm-hmm. No wonder I'm fat. It's time to stop the fat confusion. Then his wife, a nutrition coach, also known as the Detox Queen. Now I hope you all are hearing this. These are some <laughs> dynamic. People, we've joined up as a team, as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. We're calling ourselves the Vibrant Living Group, but they have their own individual businesses. They're in the great state of North Kakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let me finish talking about her. She's the detox queen, and she has been helping people clean up their diets since 2010. Mm. They have mm-hmm. a passion for serving others, a love for music, and foremost, they have a love for God. Todd and Jennifer, welcome to Vibrant Living. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Thank you, Doc, so much. And uh, like I just mentioned, man, it's so good to reconnect with you. Uh, once again, and uh, I just want to say thank you to my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man, we're going to have to take this thing further than just vibrant living, I guess. Yeah. Ro- we may have to do a romantic living show. Oh, <laughs> hey. would it be good if her name was? I'm off for that one. <laughs> All right, romantic living show. All right, that's coming in the future, you all. Oh, yes. So hang tight now. We're going to turn it up in the area of marriage, but that's not our discussion today, you all. Let's, let's name her the Diva Detox pr- Ooh, woman. Oh, Diva Detox Queen. <laughs> yeah. mm, giving you a new name, Jennifer. A Diva Detox. The Diva Detox Queen. Todd, is that all right? I a hashtag coming along. Uh-oh. <laughs> Todd, how do you feel about that, man? You all right with Diva Detox? Hey, man, that's, that's the lingo of today. So all right. If she's fine with it, she, she likes it, I love it. Hey, come on now. But y'all, we're going to do that thing. We're going to come oh, back yes. and do a romantic living talk. All right. All right. But we are so excited, you all, to bring this before you today because if there's anything that I know Todd, and, and I can see it with his wife as well, Todd and I have done many shows together in the past dealing with health. And so I know that Todd, his wife, and my wife as well are very passionate about helping you live a vibrant, healthy, energetic, long life. Yeah. Mm. See, we're on this mission to help people be healthier, feel better, look younger, and make the undertaker wait. I'm going to say that That's again. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Is that not good enough? The mission. Oh, man, I love that. I never thought of that, but, Doc, that is right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Our collective mission and individual assignments 
are to help people be healthier because our number one wealth is our health. Health. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be healthier, feel better, look younger, even as we age. Who says we got to look like a prune at 55 <laughs> and 60? Mm. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> they are, are not going there. Nada. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I like this one, you all. Make the undertaker wait. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't be getting into oh, yeah. business anytime soon. He I needs know. to go find another job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told I told the one years ago, I said, I'll probably end up preaching your funeral. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be around for a long time with good health vibrancy. Talk to me, you all. What do you all got to say about that? Well, well, Doc, I mean, that's, like I said, I'd never heard of that, you know, said as, as you know, before. And But that makes so much sense, and I love that. And uh, his pocket should be, or, you know, her pocket should be screaming. But, <laughs> you know, as we know, that's not the case. Um, yeah. People are checking out sooner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these days, mm-hmm. and that's the that's the that's the tragedy of of our our, our our state today. Now, I just had a couple of friends uh, under the age of fifty five die. Recently. Oh no! And uh, most of that was, of course, due to uh, the contributing factor of obese, you know, being obese. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that led to a lot of uh, other health issues. But the 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 reason for those health issues uh, became because they were obese, and you know, that's that's really um, one of the reasons, main reasons why I wrote the book. And 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 so. Like you say, you know, make we want to we want to we want to make the undertaker want want him to be you know learn patience. Come but on, mm-hmm. unfortunately, that's just not where it's at nowadays. But you know, Todd, uh, as as this today, we're going to talk about uh, beyond ordinary health, and you, mm-hmm. you just brought out something. Obesity now has become one of those things that's a part of normal health, normal living in our country. Mm-hmm. Isn't that amazing? And there are other things that are out there that we look at now as being normal. Yeah, well, it's right. not normal for a 13-year-old to be weighing 100 pounds more. Right. It's not normal for us to have to go around and, and we got to have 5 and 6 and 10 and 15 meds um, on our person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not yeah. normal. That's, that's become the norm, but that's yeah. not normal the way God created us to be. Yeah. Right, you that's all? That's very true. Mm-hmm. That's very true. And I think when I see the generation that's behind us, so I just turned 50, just goodness, a couple of weeks ago. And to look and see that there's a whole generation behind me that's less healthy is alarming. Oh, yes. Um, because really, that's the generation, if we're thinking about now that uh, uh, with Social Security and all of these things, that healthy generation is supposed to be healthy to pay into a system that sustains the older generation. What happens when the younger generation is less healthy oh, my God. and has more uh, concerns, more health issues than the older generation that they're really helping to sustain? We're going to burn out. Um, you know, and so not just financially, but uh, in being able to take care of. You know, I help take care of my mom, uh, as I should, as her daughter. Mm-hmm. You know, but I'm going, will my children be healthy enough to take care of me? Now, see, I've never you know, looked when at the it. time comes and I get a little bit older. Mm-hmm. Wow, I never looked like, at it like that, Jennifer. That's a very powerful point. You know, there are statistics saying that we're the first generation where the parents are bearing their children. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, and these things like what you all just mentioned have become normal everyday occurrences, unfortunately. But that's a good thought. If the generation behind us is not healthy, how can they take help take care of us that are older, like what you're doing and many people do with their parents as they get older? Wow. Right. Something to think about. How we gotta break this thing. We gotta we gotta break this cycle of Degeneration, or, or, or getting un. I mean, let's face the reality. In this country, and I love America. I've had the opportunity, my wife and I, to travel to various places. And there was one place you all that I traveled to. When we got back home, Todd, I literally got off <laughs> the plane, and I, I've heard of people doing that, honey. Got yes. off the plane and kissed the ground. Kiss the ground. <laughs> <laughs> <Well, I did. laughs> 
<laughs> I'm telling you, I'm like, thank you. What happened to me? I mean, where is America? Hurry up and get to me. But um, but we we are a people. We got a lot of hospitals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're loaded with doctors mm-hmm. and clinics. But mm-hmm. dear Lord, we got more arthritis. We got yep. more cancer. We got more mm-hmm. diabetes. I'm like, wait a minuet. There's something wrong right? with that. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with that picture. We got all this, and we're still way down on the totem pole as far as being an, a, a nation, a healthy nation is concerned. And this is why we are here, to help turn the tide from right. what is normal health today mm-hmm. and to getting back to that that God had really set forth for So. I want you guys to talk to us. How can we break the norm? Uh, let's let's go to the food nutrition side. What? Let's let's talk. How can Jennifer? How can we help turn the tide? You you are well, a nutritionist, I think so how, part of it mm-hmm. uh, is realizing that food is the healer of our bodies. Um, Everything that we eat is going to have some effect on us, a positive effect or a negative effect. Everything's going to give us nutrition, quote, unquote. In other words, it's going to put calories in us. uh, You know, it's going to give us a certain amount of energy. Mm -hmm. But it's the quality of the food that we put in us that's going to determine the longevity of of our health and of our life. And so I could go on uh, uh, and eat a thousand calories because people would say well i just want to eat less i'm going to consume less calories but i could consume a thousand calories of oreos every day and that's under 1500 calories and mm-hmm. i could actually lose weight but the quality of that thousand calories is not going to sustain wow. me and so i think too many people are looking at the fast fixes are looking at um you know the the, the, the quick diet what can i do you know right now to lose this five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, Mm -hmm. but not looking at the longevity of it, the sustainability of it. Um, How can I use this every single day lifestyle? change. So you we said, want the quick fix. This is the microwave generation. Uh-huh. If we can't have it right now, we can Google stuff and have the answer immediately in this generation. We're not patient enough to see the changes, to do the small changes. The Let's get back to whole foods. Let's get back to organic. Let's get back to cleaner eating. We want the, the you know, can I lose the five pounds this week? Oh my! You know, the, oh, wow. the method of it, and you know, instead of what can I do to sustain my lifestyle, and so and that is a quality of food issue, not just let me sign on to the latest fad, the latest diet, and do that for a little while, because then we're yo-yoing. You know, you uh-huh. you, get, you lose the twenty pounds, you gain the twenty pounds back. You lose twenty pounds, you gain twenty-five pounds. Oh back, my! You know? Oh, <laughs> look, defeating the New Year's resolutions. Oh, <laughs> you know, you talked about yeah. the quality of the calories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, well, I yeah. ate a lot of food. You know, nowadays we people are stacking their plates up very high. You know, I mean, I'm like, well, do you have true food? Because you don't need all of that. You, you know, the right. big plates. It looks like Jeff Bodine's <laughs> plate. No, the Jethro Bowl, I call it, yeah. <laughs> you call it what, Jennifer? <laughs> The Jethro Bowl, and I want cereal. I'm like, I want a big Jethro Bowl. The Jethro Bowl. Bowl. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, you all, I got to go ahead and admit I love the Clampets. I, I oh, watch yes. that. My wife will tell you I watch every that show. Every single night. Just about every single night. And y'all pray for me because I have, yeah, a, I have a problem, Todd. I haven't corrected yet. I, I've got to learn you don't watch those guys while you're eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had to pause that thing because I almost got choked. He be <laughs> laughing so hard, you know. And my wife, like, he's watching the the hillbillies again while eating, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But uh, Todd, kicking here on the on the physical side, and we're gonna come back to Jennifer as well. Yeah. Back on, well, you, you know, know Todd, now Todd, before you before you come in, you know, I don't know Todd, and help me, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know of a of a lion who's so out of shape and he hasn't eaten in eight days, but he's so de-energized to where he don't even feel like running after that buffalo that just walked right. across his turf. Right, right. I, I don't know if anyone of a <laughs> lion like that either, Doc. <laughs> so talk to us about the physical side. Yeah, you know, and I was just going to you know, speak on what it, you know, what I always share with my clients is, you know, uh, you're either going to pay the farmer or the farmer. 
the and farm up. Mm-hmm. What? The That's farm a heavy statement, so, Todd. You know, and I think Jen kind of like brought that to my attention one time, you know, because farmer, where well, you, you're talking about the farmer, F A R M E R, mm-hmm. or the farmer, P H A R M A, meaning the pharmacist. <laughs> so, you know, you so have you're going to pay choices. either one of those, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. wow. you have those two choices in life, mm-hmm. you know. So yeah, my thing is, like, I watch my parents, and I always share this with people. And uh, mom, if you're listening, you know, I always like to apologize for putting y'all out there, but mm-hmm. you guys are an example, and and of of I would say the 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 typical American uh, uh, individual uh, that grows old and you know has the medicine medicine cabinet full of prescription drugs Mm -hmm. and you know that is something that is and i don't know too many people that are saying you know i i want to uh i'm looking forward to taking all these pills so now to go back to uh what you were just speaking about in terms of the fitness you know aspect or component doc it's really small steps it's not it's not it's not a lot you don't have to knock five days out starting out at the gym start small uh what we have gotten so used to are the fad gyms like fad fad diets the park uh, taking a walk to a park is mm-hmm. so relaxing okay yeah you know if you can do something like that and if you don't have anyone to walk with put some nice music in your ears and just go out and just walk oh i like nice that park because now mm-hmm. let me tell you something you all when you see todd you're going to want to do something real quick and fast. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Trust me, when you see the brother, he's like, Incredible Hulk number two. Yeah. <laughs> now I see why Jennifer went after him. Now I see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, you know, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's crazy now. We know what's happening, you know. The bulging <laughs> shirts. She, she, she's beautiful also, but we've managed to, you know, over the years, uh, give you know that 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 attention to mm-hmm. to exercise and and what it means to live healthy and and not by vanity alone and that's what you know a yeah. lot of us do fall into this is not about vanity you know i always once again i say to my you know i, I tell people you know my way of taking care of myself is actually a way of saying thank you to god for this body yeah. Wow, you know, oh, that's and good. for this life, man, that's a good you know, foundation there, Todd. Right there. I'm sorry, yeah, please, yeah. please go back and say that, share that again. Yeah, so like I said, my way of you know the way that I like to live life is is taking care of myself, and so my way of saying thanks to God is to take care of my health and the body that mm-hmm. God has given me. Why would I want to do damage to the gift that God has given me? Oh, yeah. man. You know, this this body is a blessing. This life is a blessing. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. You know, wow. so so why not say thank you by taking care of it? So that's kind of like how I lead it, you know. Mm-hmm. And anything short of that, I mean, we all have our, you know, our our, our shortcomings, cravings. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I mm-hmm. love macaroni and cheese. Oh, you know? watch out now! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! But you know, Jen Jen has her crack chips. You know, mm-hmm. slowly it. turn it into my crack kids too. too. You know, turn it into yours too. Uh oh, come on. <laughs> you know, but but at the same time too, you know, my Jeffro bowl is not a a bowl of big bowl of cereal. My Jeffro bowl is a bowl of salad. Mm-hmm. You know, wow, I like that. And yeah, you know, so it, it it you got your choice, the farmer or the farmer. Or the farmer. And so that's kind of like you know where I, where I go with it. Like I said, small steps. Just get out and enjoy, mm-hmm. you know, nature. Take walks. You know, with Todd, you know, Todd, those small steps is what encouraged me to stay on track because you know when my wife and I we first met, you know, she was touching my arm. You know, we got married. Mm-hmm. She started grabbing my arm muscles like, wow, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> And then All about right now. then about twenty Come years down here. the road, I heard her say something like, "Your your arms are not as big as they used to be." I'm like, "Wait, oh, oh, oh whoa, <laughs> whoa!" I know she didn't go there. She did. And now that's why she made me so mad. I said, "I saw All right, I'll fix that. Start doing two hundred push-ups a day, Todd, so I can gain my Todd cheek look back." Uh oh. <laughs> huh? That worked out for the better. It worked out for the better. <laughs> Come on now. You know, we don't hear, we don't hear of a million cows dying of cancer a year. Right. 500 pigs complaining about heart disease. Or 400,000 chicken dying of a stroke. 
or 300,000 dogs dying of diabetic complications. We right. don't hear about that among them. How is this become ordinary among us is what we're talking about you all today. And yep. Todd and Jennifer has been sharing some powerful information oh, yes. about what we put in our bodies and about the utter importance of, I'll say it like this, the medicine of exercise. Mm-hmm. Now, in the church world in particular, <laughs> that's <laughs> almost like mm-hmm. a, curse, a curse word. Exercise? Oh, yes. <laughs> Bodily exercise profits little. Well, you better get all the little that it does profit. That, right. There you go. <laughs> Come on. You know how we say those things in the church world? And, mm-hmm. and we're some of the most, oftentimes, the most unhealthy people um, around. And we say yeah. we're the army of God. You know, we get yeah. them saved in the sanctuary, and then we kill them in the fellowship halls. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, right. And a lot of people say, you know, well, well, God looks at my heart. You know, man looks at the outward appearance. God looks at the heart. You know, but the outward appearance is key. We're supposed to be the light of the world. We're supposed to be the one that helps people see God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so what are they seeing if we're not disciplined in how we're taking care of ourselves? One of the most uh, convicting studies I'd ever done was taking a look at the book of 1 Kings chapter 6. And look at the detail that went into the temple of God, of mm-hmm. how the temple was created, the oh wood, God. the cedars, the mm-hmm. gold, all the inlays. Well, we are the temple of God, according to 1 Corinthians 6. We're the temple of the Holy Spirit. How much more precious how should we more? consider our body as a temple? So and you if know. God put all of that, in, that, all of that attention to detail in the Old Testament temple, we are the New Testament temple, the church, all together. And so if people are looking at us, and we're the Christians. <laughs> Uh-oh, come on. Mm. A deep conviction about taking care of ourselves. So, Todd and Jennifer, so you're telling me that looking good physically is not mm-hmm. worldly? I don't think it's if, it's if it's for the purpose of God. Anything we do to the glory of God mm-hmm. is not world, worldly. Mm-hmm. If I'm doing it just to look good in the mirror, just so somebody will take a peek, a second peek at me, then I've got to check my motives. Mm-hmm. But if I'm going, I am the ambassador of Christ, according to the Bible. Come right? on, come and on And if I'm an ambassador going to another country, I'm putting on the best face for yes. my country. Yes, yes. And so that. I'm an ambassador of Christ. i got to put on the best face of Christ. And that doesn't mean everybody's got to be a size two everybody's got you're not going to be Mm -hmm. but you've got to be the best that god has created you to be if that's a size 12 be a healthy size 12 if that's Mm -hmm. a size 16 and that's the best you can do do the best you can do to the glory of god i believe he will bless it wow todd you've done well man you've done well man (laughs) you know i you know i she 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 impresses me still you know i i'm just always impressed by this woman (laughs) But go ahead, Todd. Come on, you go ahead. Um, she done knocked two home runs. Um, before we end the show, go ahead and knock two more. So hey, we the, there's no way that no way that the opposition can come back because we've run the score up so much. Come on now, mm. I love that. Talk to us another from another angle on the physical side too. What was that again, Doc? I'm sorry. Yeah, share some more from the physical exercise. Uh, side since yeah, we've well, got only you know, a few and, moments and left. back to, like you said, like I was saying earlier, when just starting out slow. Now, the body does adapt, so we have to be aware of that. So you will have to challenge the body at certain things. So, yeah. you know, the walking, if, if, if the walking changes, will cease. So what you have to do is maybe walk a little longer. Or mm-hmm. for as we get older, muscles do get weaker, bones do get weaker. So yeah. that's when it's definitely important to kind of like tie in some type of resistance training to your workout program it doesn't mean that you have to bench press 225 pounds or squat 800 pounds okay no it doesn't but doing something to pay attention to muscle doing something that that pays attention to the structure of your body is important Mm -hmm. because as we do get older once again like i said the body will uh it it will it it, the metabolism slows down let's just face it that's Mm -hmm. just that's just the natural process Mm -hmm. of the body but we can slow, we can help keep it, you know, or maintain it from slowing down or keep it from slowing down as fast uh, as it would or as it could or as it would, you know, as it would be, but uh, by doing some kind of like resistance training, you know, paying attention to muscle. And so that's really 
it's not rocket science, Doc. It's mm-hmm. very simple, but you just have to find the motivation, your reason why. And that's one of the things that I do cover often. What is your reason why? Why do you want to, you know, uh, lose weight? What is your reason for staying healthy? Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the most uh, uh, inspiration, motivational reasons I've ever heard from one of my clients is that she she wanted to live because she didn't think she was going to uh, see the age of 46. Oh, my God. Mm. Now, that's a powerful reason why. Yeah. But it kept her in the game. It kept her motivated. And see, this is why um, we have to go back. One of the, I think one of the things we have to go back to is the desire of God, which, oh, my God, is so broad and so big. He said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health even yeah. as your mind prospers. No parent mm-hmm. wants to see their children sick. God mm-hmm. doesn't want to see his creation sick. No, he wants us healthy and whole. My mm-hmm. God, our time has slipped away. Uh, yeah. You guys have got to tell the audience how you can be reached for your services and products. That dynamic book uh, on, on fat. So we got about two minutes, two and a half minutes. So tell the, the audience how you all can be reached. And okay, talk well, about God, that book one more so time. Much. Yeah, thank you so much for having us on. We thank we you. really in, we really enjoy this type of uh, media and being able to share. Uh, but uh, what we're doing right now has been working phenomenal with with people. It is our twenty one day challenge program followed up by a ninety day transformation program. And so you can reach us uh, through our uh, website at the twenty at the challenge twenty one dot com. That's www dot the challenge twenty one dot com. And if you have any uh, interest in the challenge then, you know, hey, reach out, you know, because a lot of people are having some awesome results from that. Yeah. They're, they're coming away just renewed, mm-hmm. you know, with a sense of, like, uh, knowledge of food and a knowledge of, of, uh, of exercise. And then they found something out about themselves. It's a great support system that we've mm-hmm. done with the, uh, with the, that we're doing with the program, Jen and I. So definitely reach out to us and uh, just, you know, if you have any questions, uh, just, you know, contact me at Todd Cheek at rocketmail.com, okay? That's another way that you can contact us. But definitely drop by our website at thechallenge21.com. All right. And also, I want to promote um, a special CD entitled Defeating the, Mas- Defeating the Mother of All Diseases. Defeating <laughs> the Mother of All Diseases. You can get it right from our website at www.dr. Calvin Ellison, doctor spelled all the way out, drcalvinellison.com. Once again, that is defeating the mother of all diseases. And you can get that right from www.drcalvinellison.com. Oh, this has been my girlfriend and I and my guest Todd and Jennifer Cheek uh, bringing this dynamic broadcast to you yes. today. And we want to encourage you now, live the amplified life so Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. We'll (laughs) see you back on next Monday. God bless you. Have a great week. God bless. Thank you. We hope you're leaving feeling empowered. Thank you for listening to Vibrant Living with Dr. Ellison. If you would like to learn more about our host or purchase books, please visit his website at drcalvinellison.com. That's Dr. D-O-C-T-O-R CalvinEllison.com. Be sure to come back next Monday at 6 p.m. for Vibrant Living on Atlanta's Inspirational Talk Radio, Love 860. Bye for now.